In this video, I want to tinker around a little bit with a bipolar amplifier. I've already opened the Ischema KiCad 8 canvas, but it's empty. So where could I find some existing amplifier? Let's have a look. For example, at the KiCad forum, uh, the link to more simulation examples for KiCad Ischema NG Spice offers several circuits and I just have to scroll down and uh, hopefully we'll find something which is useful for our purpose. Yeah, indeed, it is this one. This amplifier here would be nice. So let's download this intro. 4.7z and open it with a 7z. I had to expand this, put it into a specific directory and I could do this by shifting into Z into the directory KiCad 800 videos. So here we are. And now let's go back to eSchema and we do file, open, videos, intro four. Here we have this generic op amp bipolar keycat file. And this is how it looks like right now. We want to use this amplifier here and discard this one here on this side. So, well, let's just start discarding uh, market and remove it mark this one and remove so yeah what else do we need we need a power supply but only a single voltage power supply not plus minus so well let's remove this one here also mark it and remove it okay so now we could make this a little bit more nice just mark this shift it somewhere to here Enlarge this a little bit, mark this one here, shift it or drag it, yeah, and uh, you could move this one, well, uh, move this one down here and uh, remove these two here. Oh, we'll like, leave that one, but just connect this one to here okay so we have sinusoidal input amplitude 0.1 volt maybe it's a little bit too much let's give it 0.01 so have only 10 millivolts of input frequency is one kilohertz yeah and I think I would like to use 12 volt for this uh, device, not only five. So let's give it 12 here. Okay. This is just a symbol. Uh, and this symbol connects these two lines. So yeah, what could we do? Oh, let's just simply remove these symbols. Just remove them and connect the lines. So we are here. Yeah, so we have 12 volt on our amplifier. Um, what else I want to do? This is a generic transistor which has been um, used uh, from the simulation SPICE library. Uh, maybe I want to give this uh, real device model. So we have to check where to get models where to get devices. So first, just we remove this generic transistor and we should have a look at what kind of transistor we want to have. Load uh, the symbol library and type in BC546, for example. Uh, nice footprint and the symbol. 
and here we are and we place this one in here and um, seems to fit but now what do we need we need a spice model for this transistor where to get spice models okay let's search for spice models we might search for spice models and we have a look at the ng spice tutorials page um, we could find models here and the device model parameters for simulation with ng spice okay so here we are and we just download this basic model parameter set which is now here let's open this basic models and we see bipolar models okay and we do have this here which is well what, what we been looking at and uh, so we'll have to check if we can put this into the same directory uh, we've just uh, used here so let's open this and just put this device model here into our directory kikat 800 videos intro 4. yeah so we'll go back to the e schema canvas make it a little bit smaller so yeah um okay we should save our circuit we have just modified the circuit so let's save it so we are uh, safe we can remove this one because it's no longer uh, true uh, first leave this here tag so and um, yeah now we want to add or attach the model we have just downloaded so double click on here simulation model a model from the lib file so let's search for this file here we are and which is the model is inside here and this is nice okay we have to be careful looking if the pin assignment is correct but i think it should be because collector is one base is two emitter is three this is typical spice also we have a look at the pin assignment and seems to be the same seems to be fitting so we are well done here okay yeah i guess we could start simulating inspect simulator we don't want to do an ac analysis there is a transient analysis from the former project with voltage in shown voltage out is shown yeah let's do a simulation okay mm -hmm. so our input signal is the red one and our output signal is a green one so the green one is not a sinusoidal signal <laughs> and it's smaller than our input so we have an amplifier with an amplification less than one and a lot of distortion we have to improve that um, okay this is what we can see here can we measure this yes we could have a look at the output signal here right mouse click and perform a few Fourier analysis with a fundamental frequency one kilohertz this is okay because we have one kilohertz of input frequency and this is what the table is saying the table is saying this is the fundamental one and this is the second harmonic and this is relative to the fundamental 30 percent and if, it, if it's a true sinusoidal signal this one should be quasi zero so we have a gross distortion we even can measure this with these Fourier how can we improve yeah let's have a look at the um, at this circuit I think we should try to modify the bias resistors here and hopefully get a much improved uh, signal so let's go back here how can we 
change these resistors. Okay, we could type in, simulate, type in, simulate. There is a much better way. This is a tuner. So this thing allows us to tune these two values. So we have selected tuner and now two left clicks onto the specific devices. Let's go back to the simulation window. And here we see the tuners available. Okay, yeah, and can we can start sliding? And when we slide, there is a new simulation. Okay, we just moved up from 50 kilo to 58, and now we see that the output is larger than the input. Every time we shift and lift the left mouse pad, then the simulation starts immediately. This looks better, but the output is still not a sinusoidal signal. So let's move into this direction. Ah, here we are. This looks much better. So we have the input signal and we have the output. And the output looks sinusoidal signal. Uh, let's go a bit further. It does not change that much. So we have found a range of values where the amplifier seems to be okay. Let's check the other resistor from base to ground, if it Im will improve somehow what we're doing. No, this is much worse. Let's go back. 12, okay, 11, okay, doesn't change much. So the 10 we had before seems to be nice and okay. Yeah, we can measure this again go to the output voltage, right mouse click, perform Fourier analysis. And now what do we see? Our second harmonic has gone down from 30% where we had a three here. It's gone down to 1%, 0 0.01, 0 0.002. So this is a much, much better signal much less distortion and all the others the higher harmonics are well below everything which is of interest to us yeah so we have created this amplifier um we want to keep this value so we just put save here and now let's have a look again let's have a look at our amplifier and we've got the resistance value here the 10k value here. Yeah, and so with some tools inside of uh, a schema, we have got a very nice amplifier. Let's go back, just test it once more, rerun the simulation. And this looks good. And so we are done here. Thank you.